A boys tennis championships outdid themselves by making history or repeating history, I should say, finishing the day with 57 points each. Cheyenne Mountain and Kent Denver were both crowned co-champions, something that hadn't happened since 1999. How it happened today, the Sun Devils entered the final day with a small six point lead over Cheyenne Mountain. In the number three singles, it was Cheyenne Mountain's Steven Zhao versus Alan Wilcox from Niwot, where Zhao rallied to get that comeback win, making the doubles matches weigh even more on the day. Heading to those doubles, number one doubles, Cheyenne Mountains, Jackson Miller and Tyler Blitz. One over Drew Fenton and Henry Johnson that gave the Red Tail Hawks the boost that they needed. Then we head over to the number two doubles where it was Kent Devers, Jack Kramer and Marie Zelli getting a big win 6463 over Air Academy's Asher Kaiser and Luke Brooks. In that number four doubles, it was Colorado Academy's Davis Johnson and Charlie Rowski made a comeback over Shine Mountain's Hank Walsh and Zach Sartan. This opened up the whole match, leaving the number three doubles a must win for the Hawks. Connor Crawford and Johnson Pang dropped the first set here against the Sun Devils, Tyler Hammonds and Sebastian Boda. However, the Hawks duo able to battle back to tie it up and take over in that third set where they cruise to a 5-7, 6-4, 6-2 win. A big day for both teams who earned the first place hardware. The funny thing is, sometimes I think people watch our two programs and don't think we're very sportsmanlike because there's a lot of intensity and a lot of, a lot of pretty loud cheering. But, it, you know, you'll always see Randy and I are shaking hands at the end of it. And uh, we just respect one another, uh, you know, just for how hard we, we battle out there. 